are non-Muslims or the person is doubtful about the kufr of non-Muslims then that person is not a Muslim it's like we told you yesterday one of the things Muslims have to do is we have to make it clear that we're Muslims and we're away from shirk and kufr and we are away from the people of shirk and kufr meaning the things that identify them is for them and those things that identify us like a Tawheed and Al-Islam and the Sunnah and all of those things from our religion. And that's the meaning of Lakum Deenukum Deen. So one more time, a person is a non-Muslim. He's a Muslim. His name is Usama Abdullah as sulami That's his name. He's a Muslim. But this person comes and he says, I don't believe that Christians are non-Muslims. They're our brothers. I don't believe that Jews are, are non-Muslims. They're our brothers. All of humanity, we're, we're brothers in humanity. There's no such thing as a non-Muslim. We're all together. All of the spokes lead to the center. Anyone who says that believes that, or he has doubt that these people are non-Muslims, then he's a non-Muslim. And the reason for that is, he is disbelieving and he's rejecting what Allah revealed. So Allah has revealed many ayahs of the Quran saying that those people don't believe in him. They're mushrikun. He said in the Quran, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَلَاثَ Allah said, verily those people who say Allah is one of three, they're disbelievers. So if a person comes and says, no, they're not disbelievers. Then Allah is saying something, and the person is saying the opposite of that. And if you do that, you go against what Allah say, you go outside of this religion. You go outside of this religion. If Allah, for an example, no salah, if he said you have to pray five times a day, and then the person who his name is a Muslim name, mother, father, Muslim, that person comes and he says, I don't have to pay five times a day. We only can pay twice. That's it. If a person says that, he goes outside of Islam. And that's because he rejected and denied what Allah legislated. And the word for that in Arabic is takthib. I'm going to say it and say it after me. Takthib. Hold on. Say it. You say it. Takthib. I say you say it. Takthib. Takthib. Not takthib. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All right, takdib. Takdib. From kedzaba, you kedzibu. Takdib. I say it again. Takdib. Takdib. That's to reject and deny. For example, the kofar. One of the reasons why they're kofar, they don't believe in yomul kiyama. Allah said there's yomul kiyama. They say no yomul kiyama. So they're kofar. They don't believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Allah said, Prophet Muhammad is a Rasul of Allah. They say, no, they're kuffar because of their rejection. Okay, any questions about that, guys? This is important. Anybody who has doubt that those non-Muslims are kuffar, then you are non-Muslim. Because Allah made it clear. He said in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَكْفِرْ بِالطَّابُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْمُفْقَى Anyone who disbelieves in anything that's worshipped along with Allah and he believes in Allah, then those are the ones who have grabbed the urwa, the strong, the strong handhold that never breaks. So this ayat is telling you as a Muslim, Lakum dinakum I disbelieve, we disbelieve in everything other than Allah. And you have to do that. Who knows from what we mentioned before, Ibrahim was Hanif. What is the meaning of Hanif? What does it mean Hanif in Arabic? What does it mean Hanif? Hanif. 
No. No. Tarin. Hanif is the one who was leaning. So in the case of Ibrahim, what does it mean? Was he sitting in the old rocking chair, leaning about to fall over? What leaning was he doing? He was leaning towards Tawheed. And if he's leaning towards Tawheed, he's leaning away from what? From Shirk and Kufr. Ibrahim. Allah told us in the Quran that you have an Ibrahim Salam. And those people who were with him, a perfect example. If قَالُوا لِقَوْمِهِمْ إِنَّا بُرَآءَ مِنْكُمْ وَمِمَّا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ You have an Ibrahim and the people who believed with him. They were a good example when they said to their people, we're free from you. Get away, get away from us. لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ We're free from you. Their mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, cousins, their men. They said, we're free from you. And we disbelieve in you and we don't like you until you stop making shit with Allah. So that's how the Muslim has to be. It can't be in doubt. Now what happens is, like I said today, we don't want to sound like we're giving hate preaching and things like that. So people say, kofar our friends, kofar our brothers. Not permissible to say that. Kofar not our brothers, and whoever they happen to be, all of them are mushrikun. Listen, Christians mushrikun, Jews mushrikun, Sikhs, Mushrikun. Hindus, Mushrikun. Buddhists, Mushrikun. All of them. So, in the ayah that everybody memorized here, in the Ladina Kafaru, in Ahlil Kitab, Wal Mushrikin, Allah said the Ahlul Kitab and Mushrikin. Are they two groups of people? Ahlul Kitab or Mushrikun. They're Mushrikun because of the things that they say and what they believe. Whatever the case is, as a Muslim, we cannot have any doubt that a non-Muslim is a non-Muslim. So you should never say, for an example, I'm African-American, I'm proud to be African, I'm not white, I'm African man. But Fir'aun was African as well. Fir'aun only built those pyramids, and they, to this day, they can't figure all of that out. Do I walk around saying Fir'aun is my brother? Or I see a non-Muslim, I say, hey, brother. It's not my brother. That's not my brother. My brother from mother and father, non-Muslim, that's my brother. But even that guy, even that guy, the real brother is the one who is connected to you in Al-Islam. So I think that's pretty simple, understandable. Did you guys get that? You understood it? You cannot have any doubt about the kufr of any non-Muslim. Now, I have a question. Does that mean we walk around, we walk around, and when we see a non-Muslim lady, an old lady, you know, she has the chair, she's shopping in Morrison's, Asda. Does that mean when we see her, we push her over in her chair? You're going to push her over in her chair? Now, Allah, if I see you push her over in the chair, I'm going to get you. Allah, I'm going to get you. You don't push her over the chair. You're going to open the door for her. If she wants something off the top shelf, we'll give it to her. And then we say, have a good day, madam. And she go about her way. And then someone comes and say, hey, you helped her because she's a Muslim now? I say, la wallahi. She's not a Muslim now. That lady's a mushrika. But me being nice to her is one thing. And me labeling her as a non-Muslim is another thing. So anything that Allah has revealed, if a person comes and says, no, then you're outside of Islam. If a person says, you don't have to wear hijab, they go outside of Islam. If a person comes and says, no yom of piyama, outside of Islam. If a person says, there's no magic, outside of Islam. After it's been explained to them. Now, if a person is ignorant and he just said things like that, we don't expel him from Islam. We're never going to do that. As I said in the very first class, putting people outside of the fold of Islam is a major sin. You can't do that. If a person thinks that's permissible to walk around when I disagree, you're a cat, you're a cat, then he can go outside of Islam because that's not permissible. He's making halal what Allah is making haram. So guys, hold on to your Islamic identity. Don't be like those people who are apologetic. And then another thing is that the non-Muslims who believe Jesus died on the cross and all of that stuff, they're not embarrassed or shy or hesitant to say to us, you people, 
a kofar. You people are going to the hellfire. I'll tell you that right in your face. Without any shame and without any hesitation. And then we are afraid to say what our religion believes. So that's the third nothing from the Nawaqat of Al-Islam that will destroy your religion. You let those brothers know, inshallah, Zwaja, after Salat al Isha, they won't come anyway because the news is going to spread. going to put them out on WhatsApp group. Yeah. All right, you guys have any questions? All right, little man, you continue, continue to do the good work that you're doing. I like your watch on your right hand, loving the Sunnah. You keep on doing it. Why do you guys have the same colors on? Your twins today? It's okay, brothers. We all brothers. Okay, subhanakallah, no wa bihamdika. Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. And I'm going to see you guys next Wednesday. All right? Inshallah. You guys be good to get here and keep praying in the salah and keep coming to the Fajr prayer. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, Rabbah.